Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix the Windows is having update KB5064081 or KB5064401 not installing on a Windows 11. Then how we can fix this app. So let me directly get into a step. So the first step is all about we need to pause and restart the update. To do so, we just need to go over here, search for the settings, click on the settings. Now from here, directly navigate to the Windows update. Now from here, check for the updates. So as you can see, we have update. So I have to update this. But before that, for some users, they're not able to download or reinstall. So what you need to do is just go over here in the pause update, click on this one. Now set this to either to four week or one week, whatever it is, just wait for this, go for the resume update. Then the update is done. You can just update or check with that. That is the first step. Next step is all about, we need to start app readiness service. To do so, we just need to go over here, search for the services, click on the services. Now from here, go over here, find the app readiness, right click on this one, go to the properties. Now go to the startup type, it is automatic. So the service stages is stopped, so just click on the start. Now wait for a bit of time. So what happens is once it's successfully done, you can just go for OK. And you can close this and you can check that might work. Next one, we need to run update troubleshooter. We have a default update troubleshoot in Windows. So just go over here, search for the settings, click on the settings. Now from here, directly navigate to system, scroll down and navigate to, you have to scroll down and navigate to the troubleshoot. Now if you can click on other troubleshoots and over here, you will be able to find Windows update. Just click on the run. Now what happens is the Windows itself it will be targeting some steps to fix the issue. They'll be running some checks. So we just need to wait for this to get completely done. So this will take a bit of time. So the Windows itself is going to fix the issue. So we have to say what is your issue. For example, either two issues can happen. One, you're not able to download, install or uninstall an update, or you installed an update, but the update has caused the problem. You can sell it in which one of you're facing. For me, I'm having the trouble with this one, so I'll select this one. Now you'll be having set of instructions on to run the Windows update, update automated diagnostic, where you can go for yes. And once done, you can check with that. That might fix the issue. Next one is all about, we need to go over here. That is, we need to restart Windows Update and Background Intelligent Transfer Service. To do so, go over here, search for the services, go to the services. Now from here, go to Background Intelligent Transfer Service, right click and go to the properties. Make sure the startup type is being automatic and you have to go for apply. And right now the service status is stopped, so just click on the start. So it will be start and up and running. Once it's up and running and you're fine with it, you can just close this and you can check or you can right click once again, go for restart, then just wait for a bit of time. Then you can just go over here, just wait for this. Now you can close this and you can check. Next one is all about, we can go over here, same in the services, I forgot that, go to the services once again. Now from here you have to scroll down and directly navigate to Windows Update. So go over here, right click on this one, go to the properties. Now, as you can see, the startup type is automatic, so make sure it is service status is running. Go for OK and you have to close this and you have to check that might work. And this is what you have to do. And I hope, apart from this, if still if it's not working, you can try FEMU step. Next one, we need to use the Windows 11 Installation Assistant to update it. So I'll be providing link in the description to both the Windows 11 Installation Assistant. Now from here, you can download this. Now download this and you can update your windows and you can check that might work in some cases. Or you can just use the update catalog. So I'll be also providing a link into the update catalog. So here we need to type what is our issue. So go over here. If you're having the trouble with KB5064081, just go over here. Now type this particular value. Or if you're having the trouble with KB5064401, copy this and you can just go over here, type it then go for search that will give you available list of instructions here now from here you have to click on this particular value so this particular link now from here you can either go to you can just sorry not here you can go over here click on the download icon here just download it after you successfully download you can check whether the issue is solved or not still if it's not working the next one is all about we need to reset windows update components to do so we have to copy all these commands keep on copying these commands now we can see you have to copy this command let me copy this and i'll go over here 
So once I get into here, what I need to do is let me delete this. Now right click and go to show more options, navigate to new, click on not. Now go over here and you can just paste it. Then go to the file, go for save as. Now we need to type woofix dot, sorry, we have to type woofix dot bat. Now change into old files and save this particular file to the desktop. You have to go for save. Now once you save it, as you can see, this will be available here. And I have to right click on this one, go to run as administrator and go for yes. So what happens is this will be running some kind of steps. That is, we have copied a lot of commands here, right? You can see we have a lot of commands. All these commands will be running one by one. So this particular step will take a lot of time. So what I'm saying is in the meantime, for the users who are watching this, you have to wait for this to get completely done. Once done, you can check with it. For the time being, let me skip this and move to the next step. Next step is all about, we have to, after running this particular step, you need to do a restart, which is a mandatory, do a restart and you can check. Then last step is all about, you to use option called fix problem using Windows update. So go over here, search for the settings, click on the settings. Now from here, directly navigate to the Windows update, sorry, not Windows update, go to system. Scroll down and navigate to the recovery. Now we have an option called fix problem using Windows update. Just click on reinstall now. So what happens is this will be reinstalling your current version of Windows, but all the apps, files and settings will be preserved and will not be having the trouble. Now we can close this and you can check. Last and the least step is all about, you can just go back. Now we can use the media creation tool. That is, you can just go over here. From here, if you scroll down, you have the media creation tool over here. You can just use this particular tool to download and update your Windows and that might work. So these are the steps and I hope this kick video is helpful and that's how we can fix issue and I hope this kick video is helpful. See you soon next video. Peace out. Bye bye.